Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 2 of the Legend the Legend of Gubble. The Legend of Gubble, that's what we're calling it now. Okay? Okay. And my introduction there kind of sounds like Chugga Conroy, but whatever. So in the last episode, we got to this special level, this special zone. And basically, this this looks simple enough, doesn't it? Just go in some straight lines while avoid, all while avoiding these gears. It is simple. It is that actually that simple, but it's very time-consuming as well, as you can plainly see. And you have to be extremely careful not to take any damage in this. Okay, I can't move. Why can't I move? My control is crapping out. Holy crap! Do something. There, now I can move. Thanks to that. I had to get hit, I guess. The game didn't want me to progress without getting hit. You're like, no, don't be too good at this game. I think that actually did that in my practice run too, but only in this level for some reason. Oh my god. I couldn't move for a second there again, but... Yeah, this game is kind of old. Well, my disc of it is kind of old at least. And I lagged out there. A lagging in this game? No why? What the hell? My controls are being goofed up. This level hates me. Alright. Can we please get done with this special zone? I mean, seriously. Haven't we done the same thing over and over enough by now? Now I'm just mimicking the sounds the game is making. That's great commentary for you. Oh, come on, we're almost done. We're almost there. We can do it. We can do it. Just a little bit more. Just two more freaking whatever they are. Bolts? I don't know. If someone could tell me what those are, I'd be greatly appreciated, because to this day, I don't really know. I don't even know what that tool is called that we're using to remove them. It feels like a drill or something. And we get a refill on our health there, and he's like, Ziva, Ziva! Or something. I don't know. I can't do a good gobble voice. But then again, who can? My dog's barking at something upstairs. Okay, whatever. And that's the actual level right there. Simple enough. Hover over all the enemies. And you'll do absolutely fine. Alright, here we go. Is it going to be the last two Zimbots of Renegar? Awesome. And this one's going to be kind of interesting if I remember. Because it adds a new twist to the Zimbots. By adding strange... There we go, it loaded so I can finish my sentence. Strange red things to the side of each one. And basically when you touch these red things like so, you'll bounce to a certain area on the other side of the map. But there is a bonus Zimbot here, so we're going to go and cheeseburger it up like Gobble said. Bonus Zimbot. Nice. Okay. And here we go. And it looks like they're diversifying it this time by adding extra tools other than that stupid little screwdriver. Ram, ram, ram. Awesome. Aw, oh, damn. Okay, get that freaking drill screwdriver, whatever the hell it is. Alright, set six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up now. Okay, awesome. What the hell is that, Gobble? You have one of the strangest lasts I ever did here. Alright, now let's actually do the level this time. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this drill thing and remove these whatever they are. And there goes my no damage once again. Awesome. Go away, you stupid maggot. I believe that's what they're actually called too. Hmm. But that's pretty much the on only name of any enemy in this game that I know, except maybe one that's really obvious and stupid. Ah. Nice. Yeah, in the options menu, you can actually you can, I didn't really mention this, but you can go you can go back and uh you can play each individual song if you want to. I guess they knew they were making a game with a great soundtrack if they did that. And um and you can also play each of Gumble's individual noises that he makes in you know the Gumblese language. Yep. Oh man, this is so interesting, isn't it? The most interesting, inter interesting thing I've had to talk about in these, in the first two episodes is how 
in uninteresting this game is. Maybe I shouldn't do a let's play of this. I don't know, you can be the judge of that. You can tell me to quit if I, if, I, if you want me to quit. But if my commentary is enough to make the game seem remotely exciting, I am, I am an amazing let's player. Point, period, end. If you can make this game... Well, no, if you can make Pong look interesting as a let's play, you are a master let's player. Seriously, I, I doubt anyone can do that. Not, like, anyone. Seriously, no one. If you can do it, feel free, but you will fail. Trust me. Anyways, this level is simple enough, isn't it? Almost done here. And we are done. Got both the no damage and best time bonus. Yeah, I don't usually get best time bonuses on these, because some of these times are ridiculous, like... It's like the ghosts from Mario Kart Wii, the expert staff ghosts. I was like, how do you get that time? Anyways, we're done with Renegar now. Awesome. We're one third of the way through this, through the novice thing. And now I'm moving on to Farzical, which you can, as you can see is much bigger due to its zoomed out perspective. And this is going to be where the level start, the Zimbots start getting a lot harder now. Maybe not this exact level here, but in this world, you will, you will see a drastic decrease, increase in difficulty. And we are introduced to another, uh, a different tool now. This bolt remover thing, which is awesome. But we have yet to come across my favorite tool in this game. Yes, I do have a favorite tool in this game, I know. Oh, and there's actually another interesting thing about this level that I just noticed. There's a little landmine up there. Not much to say about a landmine, really. It's a landmine. You don't want to run into it, otherwise you will explode. You will go BOOM! You know, watch it go boom! I haven't said that in a long time in my... In Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time, excuse me. Oh my god. What? That was really weird. I was, I was like, on top of two tools at once, so... I guess I, I just could switch by pressing the X button or something. That's what it kind of felt like. Oh my god, go away from me. Get away. Stupid robot toy robot thing. I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. Yes, Serpentine! Serpentine! But he's faster than me, so that doesn't really work. Oh, and there's like one screw right over there. Just mocking me. I can get it! Yes! Awesome! No damage. I am so proud of myself. I'm always proud to get no damage. Because, you know, that's just the kind of guy I am. Anyways, oh. This is another level that we're going to be introduced to a new concept. I can already tell just by looking at the preview for this Zimbot. And the concept that we're going to be introduced to in this one is going to be, well, first, more awesome music, obviously. But right here is the elevator. Not much to say about it. You get on it, you go up, or you can go down too. If the elevator's at the top, oh my god, this guy's so fast. Look at him. Look at him go. Awesome. And we're done. No, we're not done with the hammer. I thought we were done with the hammer there for a second. What the hell are these things? These strange robots that are like waving their arms. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of like Zoidberg. Okay, looks like we're done with the hammer, and I probably want to get the hammer out of the way of this guy. So that he doesn't get stuck in that loop there and he can't get to that one bolt that we'll be blocking. We look special. Strange noise Gubble makes. Indeed he does. And here's another special. Not as hard as the first one in my opinion, but there are new enemies in here, those weird robot things over there. And they don't seem too dangerous right now, they're just kinda moving around, they're like bamboozled by the hammer in their face. Oh, don't leave that there. Anyways, we're gonna take the hammer out of the way now, now that we got the last screw there. And now they can actually roam free, if they want to. Apparently they're just gonna stay in that one little area there. And they're gonna fire missiles! Oh my god! They're firing missiles at me. I'm firing my lasers. Oh, look, I got the best time on this level, too. I got 29.7 seconds. Let me guess, the best time was 30 seconds. So there was a fluke that I got the best time. It looks like we'll be able, we might be able to complete this Zimbot and then just... And then I'm going to end the episode there. Avoid the landmines as usual. Ow. That's not how you avoid a landmine, Gubble. What are you thinking? Did you stop paying attention and fall asleep again, like in that stupid story? Go away. Anyways.
Anyways, looks like we're almost done here. Can we beat the time limit? We're at 10 minutes right now, so I think we can. Avoid that landmine. It can be kind of tricky to avoid that one, actually. And we are done with this zip mod. Awesome. And we don't get either of the bonuses. Sad face. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um... So, it looks like we are gonna be done with this video now, and I'll just pick this one up. So I'm gonna leave you on a cliffhanger here, and looking at the map of this next level. It looks very interesting, doesn't it? Yes, it does, indeed. Hmm? Well, we're gonna have to wait till next time to see that. This is Argon Ma- Oh, I can't see the level again! Stupid Zimba! This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.